You are now listening to Sir Inc.'s The Experience Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything kink. Now, this podcast is only catered to those that are 18 and above and may not be suitable for work, or as we like to say, NSF. But remember, you can always listen to us during your private time. Hello, kinky and kinkers folk out there. My name is Sir Inc. And so today I want to discuss with you submission, the giving of oneself. And I, I can't tell you what it feels like, right? But I can tell you what it's like from like our side, trying to receive it, trying to work with someone to get them in that zone. And I want you to understand that we we understand that not everybody's coming to the table to really just give themselves, right? And that takes time. The idea of submission seems really cool and great, and we all understand the benefits of it, right? But how to get there is a totally different path for a submissive and a dom. But for a dom, you understand that these things don't come easy. They're asking a lot of a person, right? But once they give themselves, now you're able to take them to different, you know, different places, different heights, different depths within themselves and within yourself, right? So we have to take into account in our society, this westernized society, that women have been empowered. And there's a lot being said about feminism and all this and I won't go too deep into that but because women are more assertive and empowered in this country there's also a a they, they're also in a position to not have to tolerate certain things so like and women in other places do not have the financial benefits the educational benefits therefore they're forced to be submissive in a way that they just kind of have to deal with whatever is coming. Hopefully they get a good dude, you know, but if they don't, they make it a jerk. And it's kind of like, you got to deal with that kind of thing, not just in your household, but the whole, the way society looks at women. So here with women being empowered, they don't really have to deal with, with so much stuff. And if a man is not willing to do something because of whatever the reasons may be, a woman is not desperate here. She can go it alone. And so there's a lot of women that already understand that. They come in understanding what the game was from the generations before us, how those relationships were falling apart. And we can blame that on a lot of societal changes, thought mentalities, all that, right? But even with that being said, now the basis is we all want someone or be in a situation where we can trust people whether that be friendships, relationships, or family-wise. You really want to have somebody that you can really trust, who knows you, right? And the thing about a woman wanting to, well, I'm speaking about women to dominant men. So I can't speak on the other slash of that, like submissive men to dom females. I can't speak on that. However, you really had, as a dom, you really had to be patient because these women are used to being able to, used to not only being able to make decisions, but they can control everything. And the thing is, women are so mentally expansive, they can control a lot of different things kind of all at one time. They could juggle more balls, no pun intended, at one time than men can, right? Because women are just more expansive and they put themselves into so much. You know, where men are just more focused on one or two things, you know, and, we're, and we worry about, and we not worry, but we focus on making sure that we can control what we can control all the way, right? So again, women are just more expansive, so they can do a lot of things. They don't need a man to do this, do that, do that, other than physical ability to do things and to fix things. Nowadays, women really don't need men for that however they still want a man 
right? And they want a man for all the reasons that alpha males and dominant men are, but what's that medium, right? And what would make her want to be able to subvert her power to you? That is the question. And that doesn't happen overnight. And there's a lot of dimes that come in hot and heavy. They come in, you must call me, sir. You must call me, master. You must get on your knees. You must show me pictures of yourself. Thank you. You must this, you must that. But it's not about all that. Like, first, you got to get to know that that woman and understand the things that she holds very tight to her. You know what I'm saying? That makes, that has built her to be this strong assertive individuals. Even us as men, we have certain things that make us who we are, that makes us secure in our life. So it's not just about, you know, the things you have, it's what it took for that person to be able to be a productive citizen in this society. You know what I'm saying? To be able to set the table, not only for themselves, but for others. And so you're asking someone who's coming to the table in at, in the workforce kind of way as an equal, right? To subvert their power to you. They really don't know how to all the way. And people have dealt with jerks. We've all dealt with some jerk that we liked that didn't love us the way we loved them. All kind of stuff. And we can go down that road. So how do you get that woman to see you different and, and and know how to undress her or ask her to undress herself in a way that she's comfortable, that she's not ashamed of taking off that exterior and really allowing you in. Because when she has before, someone has fucked her around. Now, a lot of times there is culpability on both sides because just because you might have dealt with an abuser or someone who didn't value you the way you valued them you still involved yourself with that person so that person was a lesson and you have to understand what the lesson is so you can move forward making healthier choices knowing the right questions to ask knowing the right things to see and knowing the right things to ignore. That shows a level of emotional maturity. Emotional maturity. And sometimes as a dominant man, you have to help someone mature. And that can't be done by just domination. That has to be done with understanding and caring so you see you have a good woman she has some control issues she wants to let go but she don't trust because what she's known that's been so sure for her is the things that she's done to get her to where she's at and it's not it's not just you're asking her to just come through and just be submissive you know what i'm saying or bow to you and things like that that stuff can be faked but it's that actual her letting go and letting go knowing that you got it and that you're not going to F simple stuff up. Like calling her, telling her you're making reservations, you know, you this restaurant, we're doing this, we're doing that. Just being able to just control simple shit that a lot of guys do not control. Because they look at it like, guys are not necessarily just lazy all the time. But guys really want women to be satisfied with their experience with them. And that starts with, well, let me let her choose where she wants to go. Because a guy just wants to get in. He just wants the woman to be pleased in that way. So a lot of times, like, whatever you want to do. That's not necessarily him just being a beta male or being beta. That's about him just liking you enough. Whereas so he's like, you go ahead and make the choice where you want to go. So I just want to be a part of the experience and enjoy it with you. But I just want overall, I want you to be happy with the night. You know what I'm saying? However, what 
men have to understand now is these women, because they have to be assertive, because they have to control so much at work, at home, and maybe without a partner, that they do want a moment to not be having all that, juggling all those balls. Sometimes they just want to just be themselves and take a deep breath and get a hug. So you got to understand how to get them there to that point where they can see that, you know what, being with you, being around you, they don't have to be all that. They don't have to have all those personalities going on at one time. Mom, boss, manager, a friend, doc, they don't have to have all that going. They can just take a deep breath and just chill and center themselves, right? And it and it takes something different for every woman to get to that point, to have them centered. You know, you have to get to you have to get someone to ground zero. Ground zero where's peace. You know what I mean? Find find that place, that nirvana, that peace for them. If you can help them get there, then they're willing to give you them. They're willing to allow you to do things and say things and they'll do things for you that they would never do for anyone else. Never. But the fact that they trust you and they can see over some time that you're reliable because people can do things in a moment here or there but you know me i'm like show me two years two years of consistency let me see how who you are over a year over two years i need to see you over a course of time so i can understand how you think you know and tell you know mentally and emotionally what, what, what's your triggers? What's this? What's that? Like, I got to understand that. And I got to put all that down. So when I approach you, when I come to you, I know when to push, when not to push, what to touch. And I know exactly what not to fucking touch. You know, so it's not that hard, but it takes you to be, you have to diagnose who you're dealing with and what they really need. Yes, overall. You want her submission. You want her to be your sub. However, what will it take to get her this? More than just words. You have to pay attention to what she's saying and what she's not saying. More of what she's not saying. You have to be able to see her reaction, her behavior, and understand what that means to you and what that means to her. You know what I'm saying? You have to know exactly know what that means to her. You have to be attentive if you really want the submission and some people are not going to come willingly more than likely they're going to come some come you got a drag and they're going to come screaming dragging and screaming you know what i'm saying but if you care if you really want to get her submission some you have to have more patience you have to be a little you know you have to you're going to have to become a little nuanced with some things Everyone is different. You can't come to eat submissive with a cookie cutter way of dealing with them. It don't. Go, it doesn't go like that. You have to build trust, and and most of all, they just got to know that they can trust you. They got to see that you're consistent in your behavior, the way you go about life, and see the results of your life. See that you're having success in life, and they trust that. But if you come with nothing, and you're like, I'm a man. And you, maybe you have a house or maybe you have an apartment, but you ain't really doing nothing in life. And like you're really struggling in certain areas. You know, they don't trust them dudes. They don't trust the grown boys, especially if you come in with, you know, I'm just let you do everything. You know, you know, I'm just going to whatever you like. I mean, them dudes can be cool, you know, but if you really want her submission, you want to step up. And that's going to take you to do your homework, your due diligence on her. And that's not, and that just doesn't happen at the beginning. That's all throughout because people change. You know, you're going to, you know, once she's trust you more and more, it opens up new doors. Those new doors change this person and changes you. It changes who y'all are to each other. So you constantly got to be growing. You constantly have to be putting things out there that shows progression. You can never be stagnant for too long. You know, you can have some routines, but sometimes you have to shake the routine up. You still going to the same destination, but you might have to change the route up a little bit. 
you know, because you got to keep things spicy. And women, again, they have overactive minds, a lot of them. So you're going to have to find a way to bring that overactive mind in and have them focus on some things and hold their feet to the fire. It'll help them in the long run. They want it. They do. They just don't trust any person to provide that kind of stability in their life because they got it. They got it by themselves. You know, even though it's a heavy burden to carry, it's heavy as shit, but they can carry it if they want to, but they really don't really want to carry it all by themselves. But they have to know that if they give it to you, you ain't going to fucking fumble it. They need to know that you're not going to drop the ball. But this is my thoughts on that. What do you guys think? Let me know. We can discuss it. You know how to find me, sir. I N Q on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can always email me at sir I N Q 9 at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Peace.